Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Sean Sense live in the command center. I'm here to review Ring of Honor's Winter Warriors tour from Dayton, Ohio. First we up, up first up we start with Wolf Forever's Rant Touch. Alright opener. I've never been a fan of Ranted Touch. It was long, very forgettable. Wolf Forever has a lot of potential, just not right now. Wolf Forever gets the win. Then we had Unbreaking Michael Elkenface and the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson, and Rick St Chris Dickinson's early debut. Really good back and forth, hard-hitting matchup. Dickinson looked awesome. He pulled out all the stops in his Ring of Honor debut, but it wasn't enough to stop Elgin. Elgin's gets to win a pretty good match. Definitely a three-star match for me. They had Tommaso Ciampa facing Michael Bennett. And an entertaining little match. They got thrown out. That ended up making it a tag match with Ciampa and Hansen versus the Kingdom. Pretty long, but entertaining match. Ciampa and Hansen get the win. I love the Kingdom. Ben and Taven, they have good double-team movers. They're great heels. You love to see get beaten up. The Kingdom's a great stable, and I hope they keep building it and building it. Then we had uh, Jade Lethal and JD Silver to Cheeseburger and Sansa Rocker. This was a big dud. It was just like, this is a way to kill time on here. Jade Lethal and Jade will get the win. Then with the Decade, Jimmy Jacobs and BJ Whitmer versus Arrowform, Lewis Lane and Kendrick. Basically an AW match in Ring of Honor, which is interesting. The best part of the match was Jimmy Jacobs. In full gear, he's taking off every part of his clothes to take out to his pants, which is his, like, shirt, I mean, a, was it, jacket, uh, sports coats, nipple rings, like, ring. It was just so funny. But an okay back and forth tie match. Arrow pointed all their big moves. Enough to impress. But overall, it was a, a forgettable match. Jake is going to get the win. But Arrow Form looked good. Hopefully, they get brought back. Then we had my match tonight. We had Alberto El Patron versus Roderick Strong in a fight. This was a war. Roderick Strong busted his nose. This was an awesome back and forth man's man match. And they just, they used to just beat the shit out of each other. Those the maneuvers they did are just, if you're a big fan of Roderick Strong, this was a great match. Just the near falls, the story they told, it's just amazing. Definitely, I go at four star match, definitely. But Strong gets the win. This is an amazing, amazing match. They made the Briscoes versus ACH and Matt Sadell. Kind of disappointing match. Just wasn't feeling it. Briscoes would get the win in the okay main events. It's, I hate to say that because Briscoes ACH and Matt Sadell, you think that would be good, but it didn't really click for me. So overall, this is a one one match show. Definitely only get it to see the Patron Roger Shaw match, but that's definitely worth getting it to see. And then Elgin Dickinson, definitely. So that's my review of ROH Witch Wars 2015. Definitely Patro see it for Patron and Roger Strong. And as always, follow me on Twitter at Sean Two Cents. Make sure to like and subscribe to these videos. Buy a t-shirt, Russell.com slash the Sean Sense. And have a great day and peace.